it's so funny that it, we knew we were good. We just, we just knew we had something good because we, we loved to watch it ourselves. But we had no, who would have thought 30 years later that it would still be on the air? And I remember once uh, meeting Stan Laurel when he was about my age now. And he said, when we were doing those little two reelers in those days, we were having fun and we knew we were funny, but we had no idea of what it would become. You just don't realize it. It was cut down prematurely the first season. <clears throat> we were up against Perry Como. And Perry was very big on television. And in those days, there wasn't much hype. There wasn't much uh, advertising and publicity. A show came in and, you know, you kind of fell or rose on your own petard kind of. But uh, they canceled us because I was devastated because there were no ratings. We sent, <clears throat> they gave us the whole season, which was 39 episodes. To prove ourselves, we got very good reviews, such as there were, but we got canceled for lack of rating. And uh, Sheldon went to Procter & Gamble. You know, in those days, one sponsor sponsored a show? Nobody could afford that these days, could they? And had their three little commercials. Went to Procter & Gamble and uh, talked them into giving us another shot at it. Plus, we, we went into reruns that summer, and without Perry Como as a competition, we began to draw an audience. People kind of discovered this during the summer, and by the next fall, we, we hit the air with pretty good ratings. 